this country, we spent 1.4 trillion pound bailing out the banks. That equals 131,000 pound per person. Boo. Boo. It's not that the financial sector is undertaxed. A lot of it isn't taxed at all. So we are asking for a tiny tax on financial transactions. This tax could raise 20 billion pound in the UK alone. Yay! Money that we think could go to stopping the worst of these cuts, protecting public services, and helping the poorest people at home, abroad, and tackling climate change. Some people think that climate change is happening very far away, but it's not something that affects us here at home. The reality is it affects us here at home very seriously as well. One of the things that the Robin Hood tax campaign looked at on its tour of the country was the community in South Uist in the Outer Hebrides. The people there literally face their island being cut in two as a result of rising sea levels, as a result of the kinds of storms that are associated with climate change. Megan McDonald, I'm 14 and from Broomstead, South East. My family, there's my mum, my dad, me and my three sisters. In summer it gets quite warm and there's beaches just about everywhere in turn. What's happening to the island slowly is it's, the edges are being kind of deteriorated away by the, the sea and then slowly making use smaller and smaller and eating away at our macherland, which we use to grow crops on. Crofting, in essence, is just like small-scale farming. There's 70% of the world's machers in this place, and that's pretty astonishing. I think, really, for in the future, I'd like to carry on crofting in Europe, purely because it's just it's kind of a sustainable way of living and it's, well, it's beautiful here really if anything else. What's threatening that now obviously is this business of, well as everyone talks about climate change, when you've got possibly imperceptibly rising sea levels, but more crucially you have, you have your storm surges Since I came back to live in US 20 years ago, there's been a um, noticeable change in weather patterns. The storm of 94 was bad, but the one in 2005 was really bad. I mean, it's been well publicized, you know, the loss of uh, three generations of the one family. After the storm, we just stood there and cried. It, our nursery was just totally gone. And we had to have the school closed down. It highlighted just how vulnerable we are here and how vulnerable the islands are to future erosion, future climate change. Houses are just disappearing into the sea, and people just have to accept that that is going to happen more so in the future. We are the inheritors of a priceless legacy, and that's through our language, our culture, and the island. And we'd like to pass that on too future generations. Well, if the climate change threat is already really facing people here in the UK, the impact for some of the poorest people in some of the poorest countries is an awful lot worse. What we're facing now is the very real risk that over 50 years of development could be wound back as a result of the impacts of climate change. Things like water scarcity, hunger, the spread of disease. And so it's vitally important that we make sure that we make people more resilient so that they can withstand those threats of climate change. And that's, again, where the money from the Robin Hood tax campaign could be so important. I think it's really essential that people recognize that the Robin Hood tax 
campaign is not just some kind of pipe dream. It's something that's very real. It's something that's gaining momentum. For example, in Europe, the European Parliament has already backed the idea. France and Germany are calling on the G20 to support it as well. This is an idea whose time has absolutely come. It answers so many of the key issues that we need to address today, both financially and environmentally. It makes good sense. It's time for that tax campaign now.